Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel live wire video tutorial, we will learn about the properties. What are they? How we can use the property binding? What is the debouncing on it, and everything. So these are the points of the video. So we will start with making a component. Then we will use it in the blade template. After that, we will see what is the public uh, properties and how we can initialize them. Then we will see the pro uh, data binding with the properties and what is the debouncing input and all. And I will show you the what is the advantage and the disadvantage of the data binding with the properties. All right. So because uh, this is the game changing issue and you can say that the uh, advantage or disadvantage uh, about the live wire. So now let's start with the command line. So I am just going to make a component with the PHP artisan make live wire and my component name can be counter or something now as you can see that we have a two class here we will write here our properties and here we will our get our properties all right so now how we can show this component on our screen so that i am just going to use it inside the template so just right here com uh, refresh completely uh, it is or delete the code from the welcome.play.php and here we got this is completely empty and just right here html file little bit just remove extra code and let's add the three directives here one is live wire styles and then we will use live wire script right and uh, also we have to use here at the rate live wire and our component name can be counter perfect and now let's see still blank why because in our counter.blade.php we did not define anything so just write here h1 and just write here uh, properties like this and now we are getting here all right so now let's uh, see what are the public properties so for that we have to go inside the uh, class part of the component and basically properties are uh, belong to the php they are not a special feature of laravel or livewire this is the feature of uh, php and this is very similar to the defining a variable in a javascript and a normal php like uh, dollar message and i can just assign some value like hello from counter class all right uh, and we can also use it like public like this here and we can use a semicolon here all right so but there is nothing or uh, impact on html page how we can get this line or get get this property on our html page for that let's come on a counter.play.php and just simply write here dollar message and now you will see that we got the property here all right so now what i am just going to show you how we can initialize the properties so there is a no uh too much different between uh making a property as initializing property uh even you will f on a first moment you will see that both are the similar thing so let's make a function uh, with the name of mount and i will tell you what is the mount just wait for a moment this dot message and we can just write here hello from mount all right and now i am able to see hello from mount so uh, here you can see that we can uh, change the property and if we don't have any property inside our uh, uh, property then it can just put some properties here so what is the mount basically mount is a life cycle method i will tell you what are the life cycle method in a detail after two videos but for a moment you can see that this is a predefined function inside a class or you can see that the component class all right and uh, why i am just going to assign this value here not here or something here because uh, when we are just using this life cycle method then you will see that we are getting some data as in as a parameter and we have to use them here all right 
that's why I am just going to aware you that this is also a possible case. Okay, so uh, we learned that public properties, how we can uh, initialize them and what is the property binding. So basically property uh, binding is something like when I am just going to type something in input and it will directly interact with our server code and just come back here on a HTML page on a real time basis. If you are a uh, little bit aware with the Laravel, then you will see the property binding is a very useful topic here. All right, because we don't need to write here a function and uh, we are just getting the data from uh, input and we are just putting it in the another HTML file or tag. And this is a very uh, useful feature also in the search time. I will show you how. So now for uh, binding, we have to just simply make an input box just right here. Input type can be text. Yep. And let's make here a blank folder here, uh, blank input here. So here I am just going to write here wire model for the property binding we have to define the model and uh, then we have to just the property name our property name is masses right so now what you will see here you can see that the masses because we are using the same property on both area we got the same text here also and if i am just going to changing something here it will automatically changing here also so this is the benefit of the file. What actually it's going to do? Let's open a network. Let's say hello from bind. You are seeing that the every uh, key press will send a request on the server and just put the data here. All right. So this is a pretty nice feature when we are just uh, using the search kind of functionalities on a automatic search on a key press then this is very useful but for a small functionality this is uh, really heavy because uh, we have to send the every request on a server side right and it will sending the lots of data like this data he uh, this data he is sending in a payload and this data he is getting all right every time he sending the data so this is a uh, very expensive process we can see that for the server server will get the lots of requests how we can handle it yeah we can handle it for uh, according to time base so let's say uh, i just want to user will type for a uh, uh, 100 millisecond after that i will send a request or user will type for a second and then it should be send the request to the server how for that just use here dot d bounce dot time so let's say i just want to put here one second all right now uh, now you are seeing that it will just sending the request on a uh, actually i did not refresh it uh, yeah uh, the previous time it will just sending the request on uh, every time but now you will see this is sending a request uh, after a second all right here you can see that so we can just save the lots of requests because user can type around uh, five to six key, but uh, at least in a second and then request will be sent. Like I just type here something and then request is sent in here. All right. So this is the way that how we can just save our server uh, load and all. So this is all about the property binding and properties. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box and please, please, please subscribe my channel. Bye-bye, take care.